Hey guys, Moose Dash here with another One Piece figure review. This time of the Figure Art Zero Luffy, or Monkey D. Luffy. Uh, this one is the newest version. Of course, these will be completed in a set, which I'm hoping to get the whole thing. But here's how they look right now. So this is the new box. I also have the previous version, so we can compare that as well. So looking at the box first, we get a really nice window box of Luffy here. You get a holographic sticker on the front showing the Tamashi Nation's quality is what it says. And then on the side, you get what that new set looks like here with all of the current members. On the back, we get what that looks like there with Luffy and then that picture again with all of the crew. Then we get the manga version here on the side. And then there's the front. So comparing it, which is this one here, a lot bigger box compared, this is the New World version of Luffy, Figure Art Zero. And so as you can see, he has the outstretched hands on the old one, but not on the new one. You don't get that window on the new box. Here's that current crew for the New World version. So as you can see, we have no Jimbei there, as well as we don't get the cool kind of effects that we do on this one. And then there's that same picture, or not same picture, but we get the both the figure version of all of those together. So that looks very nice. Let me try to get a better zoom in on there. So as you can see there. And then another difference too is as you can see it comes with a stand on the old one. This new one comes with a stand but it's different and you'll see that. So let's go ahead and put this guy to the side and open up this one to get that in there. So here he is out of the box. You can see the box in the background and here is that new base style as you can see it's like the wood planks which i think was very cool but he still does come off like the previous version so if you wanted to make your own base you could still do that and here are the wood planks he also comes with these uh joiners because like i said there's a whole group you know there's the new crew standard picture which is this one and here is the instruction booklet so as you can see in the instruction booklet, here he is coming off the base. If you get one of the other figures, he does come with a different smiling face compared to the serious or, you know, stoic face that we have here. And then you can see where he fits in with the group, with him right in the middle. And then next up over on this side, you actually see how each of those pieces go together. So here's Luffy's spot here. And then these ones are going to be for the other characters. So, you know, you get these ones with Zoro, it looks like. You get this one with Usopp. This one with Sanji. Chopper. There's Luffy in the middle. You get Nami with these pieces here. Robin. Uh, it looks like Brook. Then Jimbei. And then Frankie in the back. So that's very cool that after everything, you know... We do get that full crew picture, and it's like this. To me, the old crew together with the figure art zero wasn't that cohesive. It looks like them together, but I get it. It's how they look at the scene where they all meet up again after the two-year time skip. So that makes sense. But I feel like this one looks more like a unifying crew. And then we'll go ahead and uh, I'll get a closer look at the detail on this figure. So as you can see, those planks there, and then we move up. We got some really nice paint application on his legs for his shorts as usual. And then going up. One thing I noticed too is his scar on his chest compared to the old version. Uh, the old version I want to say is like red around the edge. This one being more of like a gray. And then you get that face. And then one thing too is it does say you can switch out the face with the additional figure. But it says to do that. It says the hat can come off like so and then this it has a separation in the middle as you can see and that's gonna take off the hair boom and the face so then you can slide the face out from the back and there they are separated and then when you want to put them back in you just slide those back in it kind of clips in itself like the ears kind of guide it there and then you just push that back in and put the hat back on. Make sure it's going the right way. There is a little guiding piece on the back. 
and boom there he is back together and then looking at the back detail so I picked this up at my local box lunch uh, I did have this guy pre-ordered from Big Bad Toy Store and it said it was listed at coming out in July but then going into it they had pushed it said it was coming out in September and so I went on Amazon because Amazon has kind of a tentative date on when they release the figure because they also had these on there. And for them, they had them coming out September 30th, which is almost October. So when I walked into Box Lunch and I saw this guy, which they only had Luffy, I went ahead and picked him up, changed up my pre-order. Because in September, the ones that are coming out, or supposedly coming out in September, are going to be version 1 of Chopper, which is the small version of him. The Usopp, uh, or King of Snipers Usopp is what they're calling it. As well as the... Cat Burglar Nami, Pirate Hunter Zoro. So those ones are all supposedly coming out in September. And then the next release in October would be uh, Night of the Sea Jinbei, Black Leg Sanji, Cotton Candy Lover Chopper, Hard Point version. And then in November you have Humming Brook, the Iron Man Frankie, and then the Devil Child Nico Robin. And that would be completing the set. And like I said, each of those has a different version. So, like I said, there were differences between these. So here they are here. As you can see, they sit about the same height. Um, one's on a different base, but the bases are pretty much the same. This one looks a little better to me. I think the hat is a little brighter. This one has the hat pretty dark, as you see in the side view. And same thing, the red is really rich on the new version compared. They look. This one looks more like a anime slash manga style to where this one looks more not photorealistic but a little more because it's a darker blue on his jeans and things like that and then like I said going in and zooming in on that chest you can see this one has more of a gradient into that scar and this one has more of you know a solid line so like I said this one definitely feels more like a manga version or an anime version really showing off the details that should be there to where this one's more of a realistic style. Uh, this one is actually my first ever Luffy figure that I bought. And so, you know, upgrading to this one actually feels nice because I am a bigger fan of the show now. So it makes sense that, you know, the better figure I would like a little more. Uh, not to mention, I really like the smaller size of the box compared to the old one. Because if, you know, I am a person that keeps the boxes, that really makes more sense to me. It doesn't need to be huge compared and as you can see you know this one's almost uh twice this this one is one twice the size of the old box and still has the same you know details showing what it looks like around what the group looks like so i think overall it does make more sense this guy retails for 25 and i was able to like i said i was able to go in and pick them up and when I talked to the person at Box Lunch, they didn't say anything about when the other ones might come in. I know the person said he was hoping the other ones were going to come in. So they don't even know what they're going to get. So if I walk in again and see another one, I'll probably end up picking him up and canceling another pre-order. Because I would rather have be able to pick him up in my hands compared to having to wait. Um, and as I mentioned before in a previous video, I'm going to Japan. So if I can see any of the other ones from the new set, I'm going to buy those there rather than waiting or rather than waiting for the shipping to get to me so mustache again hopefully you like this review of another one piece item as i said i will be in japan soon so stay tuned for a bunch of one piece great things the 20th anniversary is actually the day after i land in japan so of course i'm going to be going to the one piece tower to celebrate so mustache again peace